What up guys, my name is Eric, this is Racing Ram Fam, and in today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to replace cam and crank sensors. We are replacing the cam and crank sensors due to the fact that they are 203,000 miles old, they are from 1998, and when we turned the boost up, Whitey started breaking up. All right guys, we just got Whitey on the road. Uh, we're cruising him. We'll see what happens when we get into full boost. Right behind me guys, we have our twin turbo 5.2 liter Magnum V8 that we have put two GT35 turbos on it and we have made it into a beast. But in today's video, we are gonna be replacing the actual cam and crank sensors. We also have a 5.9 Magnum chilling right here because the cam and crank sensors between a 5.9 Magnum and a 5.2 Magnum are exactly the same. So it'll be easier to show you guys how to take these parts out with this engine that's actually sitting out here so we can show you how to replace the cam and crank sensors. And then after we get them off our engine stand engine, we will be actually replacing them on our engine in the truck. If you guys think this build looks sick and you guys want to see more videos, check out all the videos right here. Uh, JT's in the garage today with us and he's going to be helping us out replacing these cam and crank sensors. Uh, the crank sensor or the cam sensor is actually called a distributor pink up because it's actually in the distributor. So this is the back of the engine right here. You have our, your crank sensor right here reading off your tone wheel that's attached to the flex plate. Then you have your distributor pickup or the cam sensor that's at the bottom under the cap right here. You can see the wiring for it. So we got two things right here. We have our crank sensor replacement and we have our cam sensor replacement. A lot of times the crank sensor takes a crap and then your vehicle will not start because it will actually not spark. So the first thing we're going to do is show you guys how to get this crank sensor out. So it's the easiest pie. It's just these two bolts right here and a connector that's over here. When it's out of the vehicle, it's easy as pie. When it's in the vehicle, you're gonna have to lay on top and we'll show you that later, but let's get this guy out real quick. What size uh, Allen are you using there, JT? This boy, oh, uh, never mind. This boy is a quarter inch Allen and we have it on a quarter inch extension because if we were to use a three ace. When we're doing it, you're gonna be doing it right here. You're gonna have a firewall that comes up here because it's back there. So the easiest way to do it is you have to have an extension that can go over the valve cover to reach it. Yeah, that. So the crankshaft position sensor connector is right here by the distributor. It would be on the actual driver's side of the vehicle. And this is just a squeeze and pull. So you just squeeze this tab right here, give her a little pull and it comes right out. All right, so after you get all your bolts out for the crankshaft position sensor and you get an electrical connector off, it just pulls straight up and out and that's her right there, which actually looks pretty new on this motor. And now, so we got our crank sensor out. Now we got to get our cam position sensor out or a distributor pickup coil. So we will have to take the actual cap off the distributor. And that is two socket heads that are 930 seconds. Socket gets those guys out real quick. So then after you get these two bolts loosened that actually hold the cap down, there's one right there and one right there. You can lift the cap up with all your plug wires attached. Then you got the rotor right here. Pull this guy straight off. Um, if you haven't done a cap and a rotor in a while, which is this one looking pretty crusty, this would be an awesome time to do it. Oh yeah, that tank's totally missing. Oh, because it's broken. <laughs> and then right here itself is the actual camshaft position sensor or the distributor pickup. So again, that's just unplugs right there, that comes out, and then this guy, when it lines up, you got the two bolt holes that actually hold the cap down for it to line up on, and it only can go in one way because there's a cutout for the wiring. So now that we got this easy stuff out on the engine stand, and you guys kind of get the gist of how to pull a cam and crank sensor out of an engine, we're going to actually start pulling the cam and crank sensors out of the engine that's actually in a truck, which is a lot more complicated because we have a firewall. We got a bunch of other stuff in the way. So now me and JT are going to get to replacing the actual problem child. So JT right now is working on the crankshaft position sensor. You can see how much of a tight of a squeeze it is instead of the engine that's actually out and about. Uh, and not to mention that there's no air box here. We don't have the hoses going into the cab of the truck either. So 
Yeah, so we don't got like AC lines and stuff. This is gonna be a lot more complicated for you guys at home because your trucks are a lot more stock than what this is. So you got AC lines, heater core lines, you got the air box, the stock air box goes exactly that way. So you might have to move some stuff around. Uh, when I did my 99 plow truck, I just actually laid right here and reached back there to get them out. I did not have to take my air box out. I just had to take the actual snorkel that goes out to the fender off. But yeah, JT's gonna get those two bolts out. We got the connector unplugged and we're gonna get that guy pulled out. Uh -huh. And just like that, we got our crank position sensor out. We got our distributor cap off. We had to pull some plug wires in order to get it off due to our AN lines being in the way of everything. So now we're gonna get the camshaft position sensor out. JT's gonna start stabbing in that crankshaft position sensor. So there's our old distributor pickup or camshaft position sensor right there as we took the cap and the rotor off because it sits right there, just like that. Uh, so now I'm gonna install my new camshaft position sensor slash distributor pick up and redo all my plug wires and then let's fire this beast up. I got it! <laughs> and hear her roar. Uh, other weird thing is JT had like a rubber plug. You wanna show him that rubber plug? Yeah, this boy. Right there. That was actually on the back of the trans that we had to pull out to get the crankshaft position sensor out. But you know what we do with these, Eric? That's a Whee! wee part, so we never have to deal with it again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's get her all put back together and let's hear you whitey fire to life. Yeah! <laughs> what a glorious Minnesota day. It's only like negative four out here right now. All right. right now in Minnesota. We were gonna go drive them, but we don't have heat. We don't have anything in the cab. So guys, if you wanna pick up a Racing Ram Fam t-shirt, or we got new Racing Ram Fam stickers, email me at keepitboosted at racingramfam.com. Comment down below how you guys found this channel and hit that subscribe button. I wanna hear how you guys found our channel. So make sure to comment down below how you found the channel, what video, and what you like about the channel. But as always guys, keep, keep it boosted. boosted! And we'll see you next time. Peace! I'm cold!